So I'm thinking, if the milkman was placed in Boyd's head by Coach Oleander, then it must be a set of instructions that I accidentally triggered too early, and that's why he's just sort of twitching in front of the asylum, because he's not ready to burn it down yet. And if that's the case, then the rainbow squirts must have been some kind of constructs to... I don't know, prevent the sensors from finding and suppressing the milkman before it was ready? Oh hey, Burning Dog fans, welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I was just explaining all the theories that are currently confusing me to this shrub. It's a very good listener. We need to keep going. In order... Sorry. To, uh... Get our hands on the last two queens. Ah, oh dear. Uh. My organs. Oh my. No! Oh. Uh. Well, now I know what they're for! Ha ha! Oh, but it used, it used up the. Uh. Fine. I had a feeling there was, you know, because I looked at them and it changed me when I had the thing or not. That's a straight up hint. In fact, uh, between videos, I noticed a green door down here that wasn't one of those, and it uh, still had a, uh... No! No, I don't want to go into the sewers. Although it did help me duck that guy. Yeah, there's another one! It's not green, it's got a, a flower on it. I thought those were maybe shortcuts or something. Oh, I don't see this ending well. Oh, no, no, that ended very well. Ooh, new paintings. Hello? Oh, there you are. Hey, Dalmatian. I am not exactly a, like, facts about dog breeds person, but I am aware that, uh... <clears throat> I'm just gonna say this over here. I am aware that Dalmatians have a reputation for being really, really dumb. Apparently maintaining their, uh... Apparently maintaining their signature coat, uh... Quite a lot of, uh, inbreeding. So the Dalmatians that are here today are, uh... Thick as paste. At least that's what I've heard. Your mileage may vary. Get that bird? No. By the way, I really like that my shadow is light, not dark here. Oh! I didn't notice that. Hello! Edgar Tegley sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't give discounts, or pfft, you don't think he's famous. Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does not make you a famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hmm? Hey, there's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble, especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean, wild animals? Like dogs, eh? Oh, you got a problem with me now? Hmm. Uh, I would not describe dogs as wild animals, for the record. No. I just meant wrestlers can be tough. 
I didn't mean you. Oh, you don't think I'm tough now? Why? Because I'm a Dalmatian? Hey, we can't all be St. Bernards and Bulldogs, you know. Oh no, he heard me. Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. Hmm. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he, he choked. Cost the team the entire match. Oh dear. Why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? No. Edgar's girlfriend, Lana Panzoni, dumped him after the first period for Dean LeGrant, the head of her cheerleading squad. Heckley was worthless after that. The other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. Man, this guy cannot catch a break. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh, right. Yeah, they exist. Not made up at all, those two. Sheesh. Hey, I got some original Picassos over here if you're interested, by the way. See ya. Yes, run. Run from the horror. <laughs> because, uh, I'm judgy, I guess. Well, maybe you can write it off on your taxes as a loss. A catastrophic loss, even. Oh! I cannot afford this. Oh! This painting reminds me of what? You want more? Ooh, so bad. My, this painting reminds me of my grandpa's last year alive. So, uh, yeah. These dogs are not very nice to me. I mean, that first one is okay. Perfect. A way back up if I fall. <laughs> I so very rarely get to use that one in the proper context. Oh no! That was gonna come out right here. Where am I gonna find more dollary dues? Oh god! Uh... Oh hey! Alright, that's good. Is this the same one I was just in? Yes, it is. It's down there. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that story. I suppose I might want to go out and harvest more arrowheads. It's gonna take a while to get more, uh, get enough like this. You know what, since you're right goddamn here... Oh, that's something you don't see every day. Hopefully. Oh! Uh, I just kind of assumed this one would be sealed off to me. Okay, so presumably one of the ones that's closed... Wait, one, two, three. Well, that's interesting. Because I thought it was just Gloria and the Napoleon guy left. Um, I am curious. Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs.
cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. Roger that. You've reached the brain of Coach Oleander. I'm currently <laughs> occupied with matters in another part of my mind right now. But for those students who'd like to run the course again for extra credit, or for a makeup exam, I'll leave it open. But I won't be here to watch over you, so please, children, be careful. Your minds need everything. I don't know that I liked him, but I was disappointed to learn that he was, uh, a dangerous maniac. I remember, at one point, coming across a vault hidden behind a... well, not hidden, just stuck behind a set of cobwebs, so, uh... I have to admit I'm curious, especially since we know what he's not telling us now. Just looking around for goods and services. I think this spot right here is where they introduced the first uh, figment. So it makes sense that I haven't seen any goods and services yet. Is that a figment? No. It's dog tags growing out of the ground like weeds. Oh yes, I forgot the sky was camo colored here. Okay, I'm up here now. I'm really, really glad I got lucky in the first couple events before I remembered what I was actually doing here. Alright, in my defense, it still worked. Alright, that's what Raz is actually supposed to look like. unnerving being inside a uh, would-be world conqueror's brain. I'm just gonna say it. Not as unsettling as being in the Milkman Conspiracy. I don't know, I think it was the music there. It was probably intentional. But I was kind of uncomfortable every single moment that I was in that level. And, uh... I don't actually remember what I was meant to do here. Oh, that's right, this is the shimmy test. I probably could make that jump with my levitation, let's face it. Yeah, I say it was on purpose, because it's the Milkman Conspiracy level, and they wanted you to feel like someone was watching you. He fooled Sasha and uh, Mia with a fake uh, emergency. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yes, the ending, the never-ending story. Okay, that's a relief, not gonna lie. Does that mean I won't have to deal with a goddamn machine gun turret? I mean, I know Bobby's not here, but when has video has logic ever made a difference in a video game? Oh, God! Wait. What even is that? It's like an evil member of a barbershop quartet. Christ, Oleander. Is that a landmine? No, it isn't. Let go, god damn it. <laughs> ah, yes, and now this is down. Oh! Oh! I just realized since I'm here. Uh, yeah, there it is! Shout out to, uh, oh, this is the wrong set of notes in my hand. I have returned. Yes, a shout out to Torek00 for pointing out that this figment is simply a fox because it was sitting in a foxhole. Man, that was a while ago. The other one was, I think, this one. I think it was this one. Uh, yeah, the, apparently, the art designer who created this specific figment uh, and made it intentionally phallic. And when he, uh, and when people, you know, tell him, Oh, you worked on Psychonauts? I loved that game. He's like, oh yeah? Did you find the penis duck? <laughs> There's something he likes saying. Ugh. Did you find the penis duck? Oh, I guess there's a few different penis ducks. <laughs> yeah, here we are. It was around here somewhere. Presumably on the next bit. There's one. That was the first one where they uh, told me to do the thing. What? Got it. Okay, come back when you find one of those things, they said. Ah! Please be careful, children. Your minds mean everything to us. I thought Oleander meant it whenever he said stuff like that, but no, he just meant my brain. Aha! Uh -huh. Now let's see what Coach Oleander really doesn't want us to know. Blech. Oleander's shame. I think the other one was called Oleander's Pride, and it was about how much of an amazing war hero he was. That looks like a, uh... Actually, I shouldn't guess, but... Yeah, it's a recruiting office. Oh, and there's the timer. Hmm... Oh, oh, Army... Air Force... Navy... Chefs? I was exp uh, what's the fourth one? I think the fourth one is Marines. And he curses the military. So this whole 
section of his brain is just a lie. Something he constructed to support this idea he so desperately rejects of being a, uh... You know, a big fancy war hero. Having military experience. And it's really just because he couldn't let go of the fact. How the fuck do I get that one? He couldn't let go of the fact that, uh. He was too short. He was too small. He was Steve Rogers without the super soldier to serum. Fuck, I could have made that. No. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Oh, come on. Even here? It didn't do that the first time. And I might as well run to the end of the level. Or at least get to the rotating death room. You know, one of those. So it didn't tell me that I found all of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the... Does it tell me when I get all the cobwebs? I thought it did. Oh, no, it is in the middle. Oh, I did get it. I didn't see that one I just got. Oh, go first person while I'm... Oh, while I'm doing that. Why was one of his eyes a belt buckle? It's doing this. Okay. Uh... All right, that was the very ending, so I'm just going to use this guy and get back out to the collective consciousness. I think, I think, if I were to use smelling salts right now, I would still be standing next to Edgar IRL. Or, you know, in-game IRL. You know, I've just realized the inference is that everyone has one of those little bugs in their heads. Or several of them, in fact. I wonder if I'd lose a life if I jumped off here. Probably. So I'm not going to do it. Oh. Oh! Oh, right, and I can't do that because I'm not actually in Sasha's lab, yeah. Uh... Ah, here we go, this is my door. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the, on the next episode of Let's Play Psychonauts. When we get back into Black Velvetopia. And, um... I don't know, kick that bull's ass, hopefully. Later.